I would never buy a DRAMless drive today. The, Even the, as a second drive? No. The, the prices are the prices are too close now. Why bother? I mean, just as a simple example, uh, for those of you who are unsure, let me pull this up. Oh, yes, the green one. SU630, I'll pull up the one terabyte size. This is $89 for a one terabyte SATA SSD. Seems like a good deal, but I would not buy this drive today. I wouldn't buy it for a second drive. I wouldn't buy it for a game drive. I wouldn't buy it for an older machine. And it's not that it's a bad drive. It's not that, that it won't work. It's not that it won't be reliable. But the minute you put any load on this whatsoever, do any multitasking, have background tasks, your Steam library starts updating, Windows update wants to run Backblaze. while you're doing something, Backblaze, anything else, it it will fall apart under any type of load. Yeah. Here's the thing. I have recommended these drives in the past when the price gap was larger. When it was a 50% price increase to get the good drives, mm. that was different. Yes. But today, this is $89, and an SU-800 is 109. 30 bucks. 20. 80 to 110? It was 89. Oh, 90, 20 bucks. See, that that 9.99 works. I hate it's, it. I know. It's lunch. So 90 versus 110. I would never buy an SU630 for 20 bucks less at the hundred at the one terabyte size. First of all, you see how this is actually one terabyte? Yeah. Yeah, the other one's not. It's That's actually than. 960. So yeah. it's four percent. So it's the same thing is true. The SX6000 is the DRAMless NVMe from them. Oh, it's not even cheaper. No. What? Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't buy DRAMless drives. But to those of you wondering why I've ever talked about them in the past, there used to be a huge price difference. Yes. That's why you have a DRAMless drive in your machine. Because I got it really cheap at a time that it would have been... 50 or 60 bucks more to get a more expensive drive. Would you still have spent 50 bucks more to have a better drive? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's terrible as a boot drive. The, even just running World of Warships updater. Oh, that took all day. For the latest World the of Warships. The SSD War went straight to 100% and, and just, just sat there. It just stayed there. I mean, I came back like five, six hours later and it was at 94%. It was like, are you alive? <laughs> a good SATA SSD would have finished it like the Crucial oh. MX500 or the SU800 would have been done. Yep. Because they have the DRAM on board and their their flash is better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was, that was terrible. That was terrible, terrible. Friends terrible. don't let friends buy cheap SSDs. <laughs>